Welcome back to another episode. Today we are still doing overs and unders, guys, on every NFL team. Uh, we got the Atlanta Falcons pulled up right here, so let's hop right on into it. Got the FanDuel Sportsbook as well pulled up with their total over and under on FanDuel. Uh, it's eight and a half. It's a lot of games for the Atlanta Falcons, guys. I uh, didn't really uh, take a deep dive into their schedule. This is their preseason. Uh, they tied 13, 19, 20, and scored zero versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. But uh, with that being said, let's look into their schedule and let's see if you if we think they're going to win eight, nine games. Nine games. I don't think they're going to win nine games, honestly. Uh, just based off of that number, that's pretty high. And the Falcons are also competing with the New Orleans Saints to win that division. And the Saints are going to probably win that amount of games or more. Um, you know, who, and whoever wins their division is going to go to the playoffs. So that's what they're definitely needing to accomplish. If you don't do that, you're going to at least probably have to win about nine, ten, eight games that might fit you into that playoff. But in the hunt, wild card, but we're, we're definitely going to see. Uh, so before we pick, uh, we're building a parlay as well, guys, for all 32 teams. You know, FanDuel only lets you allow 25. So we're going to, the ones that are closest to hard, uh, harder choices, we're going to take seven of those off and do a parlay of 25 teams on over and under this season and make sure you guys tune in for that as well that should be a big one uh but let's hop right on into it carolina panthers week one uh atlanta falcons i think i did have the atlanta falcons on some of my parlays already placed before this video uh i had the falcons winning uh the, the panthers have a rookie quarterback they have some other stuff going on as well uh but don't sleep on the panthers they can probably win more games than the arizona cardinals this season but I don't think they're going to win week one versus Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons have a great running back, rookie running back, John Robinson, uh, Kyle Pitts. They have Drake London. They got some other weapons on the side. Desmond Ritter, I think, excuse me, is their starting quarterback. They do have Taylor Heineke on the back end. Uh, or they might flip-flop those as well. But those are um, some mobile quarterbacks that can still make plays outside the pocket. As long as you do that, keep the um, you know plays extended, then you should be able to you know get down the field, put up some points. Um, but I do think Falcons will win one game right here. This is going to be a close game. Um, Green Bay Packers versus Atlanta Falcons, man. Uh, I want to say the Falcons, but I do think the Packers uh, will surprise some people. Jordan Love will surprise some people as well. And just that first preseason game I've seen the Packers play uh, and how Jordan Love, you know, came down and ran the offense. He uh, seems comfortable, uh, seems uh more familiar than a couple other players in the league. That's with their teams, uh, and that was during preseason as well. So <clears throat> Trey Lance, but <clears throat> uh, we talk about him later on in this uh, on this channel. Uh, let's say one and one to start the season off, and then they got the Lions. I don't think the Lions are in the division. They're not. Um, they're in the North. These uh, are in the NFC South. Um, the Falcons are going to lose this game as well. They're going to be one and two right now. Okay, and then the Jaguars coming up. Mm, I just believe one and four. I don't think they're going to win this game versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, and then you got the Houston Texans. This is going to be a close game because the Falcons, uh, you know, have some high hopes, but I don't think they're going to be delivering those hopes. And it depends how Desmond Ritter plays. Um, and the Texans are an up and coming team as well. Look out for them. I do think the Texans make it a close game, but will they win here? Uh, or will the Falcons win? I think, let's say the Falcons win this game. Okay, so now they 0 and 1. I mean, 1 and 0. 3 and 4. I mean, 1 and 3. 1 and 0, 1 and 1, 1 and 2, 1 and 3. 2 and 3. All right. 2 and 3 with the uh, Houston Texans. Wasn't that bad? When you come to play, play the Commanders, and that's my team. And I don't think they're going to beat us. Commanders are going to win this game, so I got the Atlanta Falcons dropping to two and four. Uh, playing the Buccaneers, this is a division game for them, I believe. Uh, is it? Yes, it is. The, the NFC South. Um, I don't believe in Baker Mayfield. This is going to be a close game. I do think the Falcons will win, so I believe they are three and four here. Um, believe that three and four. Yes, out of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and four. All right. Tennessee Titans is a close matchup as well. Um, who knows how the Tennessee Titans will be playing, the Tannehill will be playing. But the Titans are no slums. They have an outstanding offensive line. They're going to smack you in the mouth. Defense is going to hit you. Uh, 
And I do think the Titans could win this game as well, man. I do think they could win this game as well. So I believe the uh, Falcons are now three and five at this point. Are they going to win the Vikings versus the Vikings? Um, I would say no, three and six. Cardinals, four and six. The Falcons should beat the Cardinals here. They are now four and six right here. They're going to lose and become four and seven. Uh, they're going to lose this game to the New York Jets in the beginning of December when the Jets are probably getting hot or need to win some more games. I see them at four and eight. Maybe five and eight right here with the back end on the Buccaneers. They might split these games. Uh, I got the Falcons winning both of them, though. So five and eight right here. I do have the Panthers splitting these games. Panthers will find a groove on the back end of the season. Um, and the Panthers will win. So I got them going five and nine here. It's going to be a nice close game as well. Depends how the Colts play. Um, and this is at this point, they're five and five and eight. So now you're going to need, they're at this point at five and eight. They're not going to win five and eight, six, seven, eight. They're not going to win their nine games. Uh, we can end the video right there, but we're going to go a little deeper in depth. Uh, is Anthony Richardson and AR-15 going to handle it, them? Um, it's going to be a close game. I do think Falcons will win this game and pull it off. It's going to be close with the Colts and how they are playing, but the Colts have a nice offense, and the Falcons could be a uh, top five picking team next year. But that nine wins is, is pretty obscure to me. Bears, um, it's going to be a close game as well. I do think Bears, if they're in the playoff win, whoever's in the playoff hopes at this time, playoff chances or momentum leading up to that uh, wild card, then uh, but I got Bears over the Falcons on that uh, point. And then I had the New Orleans Saints winning this, unless – Saints have the uh, option to rest their players if they're already the division winners and going to the playoffs. Like I said, the Falcons should be competing next with the Saints to win the division, but um, I don't think they're going to win nine games. Uh, so let's pick the Atlanta Falcons under nine games, and that's a plus. That's a plus. They got the Falcons winning more than these games right here. And you can't even put these on a parlay. That's crazy. You got to be messed up. That's crazy. Um, but we can't even do a parlay, guys. I'm sorry about that. But um, make sure you... Go watch these videos, do put some money on a straight bet, and maybe put these on a couple parlays with some division wins or something like that. Um, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this video. Catch you on the next one. We, we will be doing the Baltimore Ravens. Um, we got more news, highlights, sports challenges coming out, um, more videos like this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.